come up with these great ideas and they're they're just something that you didn't know you needed. Then you get it home and you try it and you go, what have I been doing prior to today? This is called the Henning Lee three cup rapid pull sifter with a swing lid and measuring cup. Let's explain. We are easy sifting in time for baking season. When you sift your ingredients while you're baking, you are breaking up lumps in your flour and spices, but you're also incorporating air into your recipes that give it loft and better texture. Now, this color choice here at the end, that's their black. We also have it available in the moss. And then moss, there's less than 100 to go around. And then we also have it in the red. Now, this was new for us on September 13th. And it's, how many gone? 4,500 have already been picked up since September 13th. It's got a three cup capacity, it's dishwasher safe and it's freezer safe, but it's on five easy payments of 480 today. And our dear friend, Chef Jeremy Parker is gonna jump back in and show us how this works and what we can use it for. And Jeremy, sifting is not a step that we wanna skip when it comes to our baking. Yeah, that's right. Whether you're making biscuits, you're making your own uh, bread, Pasta, you want to sift. Even if you're making gravy and you're doing a slurry or a, um, a roux, sift it so you don't get lumps and chunks. And we've all had these old sifters, you know, these things where you go and you, I mean, this one, I'm like, I can't, it, this one barely even works. I have to like, it jams. It's like such a, it's such a pain in the hand that that one is. Okay, or <laughs> this, we love Heading Lee because they made a pole sifter and it goes so quick. I want to show you this. This was two cups here when I sift it. And I just go like this. Watch how fast that sifts. You know what I get? Three cups of sifted flour. So when a recipe calls for three cups of sifted flour, I actually just did two scoops. This is one cup, uh, uh, a scoop. Two cups of, of unsifted makes three cups of sifted. Now you can go right into the bottom. The bottom piece comes off. If you want to store it, I could put the lid over the top and store it like that. Or you could use this right over the top of a bowl if you're baking. So either way, when you're sifting, like watch, oh. let me do this again. Let me just put a couple of pieces here. Let me show you how quick this is because when you have lumpy flour, you don't want to make your, um, your pasta out of that, your bread. Look at how fast this goes. Oh. Let me do that again. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, and just it's a not couple of pulls. Not a mess. Not a mess. Everything is inside of there. Give that a tap. If you're doing convection sugar, again, just give that a tap. And I've done all of that. And take a look at that. Perfectly sifted flour. Take seconds. Well, and this is a close-up look at the mechanism on the inside. Doesn't that look like a yeah. big industrial fan on the inside? Because those, <laughs> those blades, those are metal. I mean, this is really nicely done. And the whole thing is dishwasher safe? A dishwasher safe. You know, it's also freezer safe and refrigerator safe. So yeah. I know some people would keep, what do they call them? Um, weebles that used to get in the flour. So you might keep it in your fridge or your uh, freezer. It's safe for that. And it's dishwasher safe. So yeah, when you're done, put it in the dishwasher. Very simple. As long as you can pull the string, you can sift flour. This is why I love Henning Lee. Take a look. I'm going to go from the bottom to the top. This has okay. a little silicone ring at the bottom, so it gives it stability. It's also beveled up at the top so that once you do sift, your flour and baking soda and cinnamon and all those things that you worked hard to get in here aren't going to cake to the bottom after they've been sifted. That's what that little lift does. There's also measuring lines so that you can measure out your recipes. And then it's easy to open at the top so you can even measure what you're dumping into the top. But I'm gonna set this down and show that this little pull ring, oh my gosh, is that easy. Easy, easy to use. It's a nice gentle pull. I'm just using one finger. There's your black. This is the moss. And then we also have it available for you in the red. So folks are picking up more than one. And Jeremy, at $4.80 to get home, it's a great reminder to everybody, you want to sift when you're baking because you're adding and incorporating air into your ingredients, which improves the loft and texture of the final yes. thing that you're baking. That's right. And if you want to mix ingredients, like right here, I did some cocoa powder, flour, baking soda, sugar, that's ready for chocolate cake right there. It's completely oh, mixed up. Pretty. See how that is? That's ready. It is so good. If you want to do convection sugar, here, let me grab one here, and I'll just put some sugar in here and give you an idea. Um, let me just do some, scoop that in there and scoop this here. And again, it's going to come through because it's, it's a sifter, and all I do here is just look at that. 
for your powdered sugar, no lumps. If you're making frosting and you want to do that nice light frosting there, it's just the best way to do that. I mean, how good is that? Nice oh and fluffy and soft. So easy to do. Well, and right, that's right? the beautiful thing, right? How, what did we do before? We usually yeah. got a, our metal sifter. I grew up with a metal sifter and you had to kind of smack it on the side in order to get uh -huh. everything to kind of sift through. Or a lot of us have just been skipping that step altogether, which is not a great idea because then it leads to your cookies being a little bit flatter. It leads to your uh, loaves, your holiday loaves that you're baking to be a little bit more concave. Um, you know, the beautiful thing about um, using this as opposed to using a strainer, you know, I've used my strainer in the past to sift. It's not incorporating the ingredients as they're sifting them through. So mm. getting to that upper echelon of baking, if that's something that you're interested in, this is a great tool to be able to do that. A lot of folks are picking up more than one today. So here's your red, already popular. There's less than 500 in the red. Here's the moss. There's six dozen left in the moss. And then finally, we have oh. it available in the black. Now, it's $24 to get home. Everything here at QVC is on five easy payments of $4.80. But I am already hankering to make snickerdoodles. I'm already hankering to make the pumpkin spice loaves. Um, Jeremy, mm. a little pumpkin spice loaf with a little cream cheese frosting. Oh, hello. Yeah, oh, go. yes. Thank you. Fall is here. I All finally. Right. God bless seasons. I love it. <laughs> and, and again, here's the difference again. If you're just tuning in, here's your old sifter where you have to kind of do this. And I mean, this one jams up. I can't, you know, and you're, uh, 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 you're doing that. Okay. Here I have cups. Let me put the lid on here so you can see. And I just go like this, go like that. Watch it fill up sifts that flour down there the way it's supposed to be sifted. No lumps. If you're making gravy for Thanksgiving, if you're making biscuits, it's completely done. There is my sifted flour. You can Same. measure it too, so you have an accurate measurement. If I just sort of flatten that out, I can see that's three cups of sifted flour. Perfectly Perfection. sifted flour. Yeah, and then this way, now you're ready for an egg. Make your own pasta out of here. Your pasta's gonna be better. Your everything. cakes, your cookies, everything's gonna just be better. Sift your flour, always. Jeremy, I learned that from Tina Varelli. I know, yeah. she taught us that years ago. Um, Jeremy, my friend, thank you. We'll see you back in just a little bit. See you in a bit. Sure thank do you. appreciate it. Um, hey, everybody, continue to place your orders. And don't forget how we 